It was great. Um, you know, I can definitely echo that. You know, very excited to be here. Grew up here. Not a lot of players in this league get this opportunity to play for the home team. So, you know, everybody a part of this organization, I feel really blessed and grateful to be in the position that I am. And I can't wait to get to work and take full advantage of this opportunity. For sure. Honestly, I would just say uh, staying healthy and, you know, getting the opportunity that Houston coaching staff gave me. And uh, it, was, it was great to be able to play multiple spots at the linebacker level. Uh, I think that really just was able to showcase, you know, my versatility and, you know, my IQ of the game. So, um, you know, I definitely got to give a shout out and credit to D'Amico Ryan and his staff for giving me the opportunity to, you know, play myself into this position. For sure. It's amazing. I keep telling everyone, like, there's not enough words to describe my excitement. Uh, you know, if, I would say it's a little overwhelming just trying to take it all in, but, you know, it, it's going to be special just because I get to share this moment with my loved ones, family, and friends. Uh, and, you know, I, I don't think I've ever been this excited to s get ready and start an off-season program. I'm, <laughs> I'm itching. I'm antsy. And, you know, that's, that's a good sign. And, you know, I can't wait to get to work with my teammates, the coaches, and get familiar with everyone. Sure. How special it was to share with your family? Um, who was the first person you called Monday? Were you in Minnesota when <laughs> the agreement went down? Or how did that all happen? I was uh, still in Houston. Uh, the first person I called was my girlfriend uh, to update her on the situation and what was coming next. And then, believe it or not, before I called, my mom, my dad, my brother – on the phone with this guy right here <laughs> um, and we we immediately just you know we're sharing our excitement congratulating each other and uh you know talking about you know what kind of mentality we're going into this with and um you know we're going to make this uh, a great year and we both came off you know probably our best season so sure. um, we just want to continue to work hard and take the next step yeah Yeah, uh, PJ definitely hit me up, congratulated me, welcomed me back home. Uh, you know, that gives me an opportunity to, you know, pop into the, the building over there in Minnesota and check in on all the, my old coaches. Uh, but, you know, I was, you know, overwhelmed just with how many people were reaching out, supporting me. I mean, I've had the same phone number since I was 16. So I, uh, <laughs> I have people I haven't seen or heard from in high school uh, congratulate me. But, you know, that's what made it so special, um, just – what this is all about is, um, you know, the people that love you and support you get to share this experience and enjoy the ride with you. That's what's awesome. Any questions? Would your high school self have thought of you sitting here? Honestly, I probably wouldn't believe it. Um, you know, playing in the NFL was a dream in itself, and it wasn't until probably my sophomore year of college where I really felt like I had the opportunity. But, um, you know, I, even – as the days progress, like I, my excitement continues to grow, and um, you know, I, I just wake up every day like, damn, I'm a Minnesota Viking now. Like, <laughs> you can't, you can't draw or draw it up or ask for it any better. You know, like I said, to uh, start off um, up here is like, not many players get this opportunity, and um, I'm gonna enjoy it. And you know, I want to make everybody uh, proud. You know, my loved ones, this organization, the fans because I really believe that this is the most exciting place to play and the best fans to play in front of. So I want to do uh, the Minnesota Vikings investment well and, <laughs> and put out for everyone and, and play great ball. Yes, sir.